What's up guys, a Real Sure Fugitech, and Oppo has been consistent in upgrading its Reno line of smartphones. The Reno 6 series caught a lot of attention recently, and this Reno 6 5G was specifically noted for its striking design that honestly reminds us of, you know, this one. But does it live up to its hype? Let's all find out in our Oppo Reno 6 5G full review. Alright, Oppo dubs the Reno 6 5G's design as an ultra-slim retro style that also features Oppo's signature Reno Glow. It has a smooth matte finish with an iridescent glow that changes colors as light falls on it. The phone is available in stellar black and Aurora colorway, which what we have here. What we love about this design is that the panel is fingerprint resistant which improves the overall appeal of the phone. It has a flat edge design that is reminiscent of the iPhone 12 series' design. Some may like it, some may not, but the phone feels well built. It can even stand upright without support. The back also houses a triple camera setup together with an LED flash. How it's laid out may even remind you of the Galaxy S21 which lends to the standout design that Oppo has taken here. In the hands, despite the metal build, it's super lightweight, weighing at only 182 grams and supports a thickness of 7.59 millimeters. However, do take note that the back panel is slightly slippery to hold and we suggest using the provided silicone case. Now flipping to its front, it has a 6.43 inches flat screen display with slim bezels and a quite sizable chin. Located on the left is the volume rocker, meanwhile on the right, we have the power slash lock button, generally the buttons are tactile and are easy to reach. Alone at the top is the secondary microphone, while at the bottom are the dual SIM card tray, main microphone, USB-C port, and the loudspeaker. Unfortunately, there's no micro SD card slot for this device. Taking a closer look at the display, we got a 6.43 inches AMOLED display with Full HD Plus resolution and 90Hz refresh rate support. The display is bright enough to use indoors and outdoors, has a crisp screen, colors are vibrant, and offers good viewing angles. The panel also has a punch hole cutout for the selfie camera on the top left side of the screen. The display is highly customizable, from your usual night mode and screen color mode to dark mode settings that lets you set how dark you want to go. Enhanced style is more preferable to take advantage of the display panel in use. You also get an always on display with edge lighting to let you know when notifications arrive. The phone sports a single bottom firing speaker that is more than capable of filling up the room with the sound from your phone. But as with the speakers configured in this way, it is easy to muffle as you hold the phone in landscape orientation when watching multimedia content. The sound profile is biased towards the mids, which is expected given that these types of setups will lean towards usage in voice calls. Under the hood, the Oppo Reno 6 5G is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 900 5G chipset together with a Mali G68 MC4 GPU, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of internal storage. The day-to-day -day usage of the Oppo Reno 6 5G is pretty impressive. It's very responsive and multitasking isn't a problem. Take a look at these benchmark scores that we got. The gaming performance is comparable to most mid-range smartphones in 2021. The phone is capable of handling the most demanding games with very minimal stutters. When it comes to biometrics and security, you can unlock this device via facial recognition and the in-display fingerprint scanner. Both works as intended, but we highly recommend use the fingerprint scanner instead for a higher level of security. The fingerprint scanner, however, is too low for our liking. Running the software department is Color OS 11.3 based on Android 11. It is more like the same OS as you see on any Oppo smartphone, which replicates the near stock Android experience but with some extra functionalities. There are tons of customization options here where you can change icon styles, app layouts, fingerprint style, change fonts and colors, and notification drawer. You can check it under the personalization category in the settings. And like the previous Color OS versions, it comes with a few bloatwares and tons of pre-installed apps like Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Messenger, Lazada, and Agoda which can be removed after the setup. Storage-wise, out of the 128 gigs that we get, we are left with 106 gigs out of the box which is still more than enough for casual users. Moving on to the cameras, the Oppo Reno 6 5G lives up to 
the brand's photography-centric reputation. It features the same triple camera setup as the Oppo Reno6 Z 5G, and that is a 64 megapixel main, an 8 megapixel ultrawide, and a 2 megapixel one for macro. Meanwhile, for selfies, you get a 32 megapixel shooter. The camera UI is typical for Color OS. You'll be able to swipe between portrait, night, video, and photo modes on the viewfinder. Under the more section, you'll find some more options including dual view video, slow-mo, time-lapse, extra HD, movie, pro, macro, and so loop templates. In daylight, images produced are detailed with vibrant colors and often a balanced dynamic range. With the portrait mode, the background separation is pretty good. It blurs it out very well and still the details of the subject are present and are true to its colors. The ultrawide lens take decent pictures with minimal distortion, although the color is nowhere as good as its primary sensor. Low light shots, on the other hand, looks decent. Details are not that sharp but they are present. Shots tend to look hazy, lights are a little bit blown, well depending on the lighting, and take note that the phone takes a long time to focus on subjects in low light scenarios. For selfies, it performs pretty good, especially in well-lit conditions. It can capture some sharp selfies with natural-looking skin tone. It supports portrait shots as well and turns out to be fine too. For videos, users can shoot up to 4K videos at 30 frames per second and the quality has good details and accurate colors. However, it can be a little bit shaky as it's missing OIS and offers EIS only at 1080p. When it comes to the battery, the device gets a 4,300 mAh capacity with Oppo 65W SuperVOOC 2.0 flash charge. It takes no more than an hour to charge this device using the proprietary 65W SuperVOOC 2.0 charger included in the box. When we run it through our standard video loop test, which entails the phone being at 50% brightness, 50% volume, airplane mode turned on, and with headphones plugged in, the device lasted a long 15 hours and 45 minutes. Definitely Definitely, the Reno 6 5G can last at least a day if you're not a heavy user. Finally, let's talk about the price. At 26,999 pesos, we're starting to approach the territory of smartphones where consumers start nitpicking on smaller features of the phone and the lack of stereo speaker setup and a low quality gaming performance compared to other smartphones at this price range like the OnePlus Nord 2 might be enough to make you pass over this phone when spending that amount of money. But for its price, the Oppo Reno 6 is a true functional 5G smartphone that has a stylish design and that will surely turn heads around. An excellent display feels premium and has a superb cameras. So will you be getting this phone? Well, do let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yukitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Aurel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.